because I've had this mower for like six or seven years and it always starts on the first pull. <laughs> so we're really taking a gamble here. <laughs> Listen guys, I am a big believer in manifesting your truth. So today we have decided that it is the first day of summer. Um, even though it is not technically the first day of summer, we declare it so. Um, so we were doing summer things today. Uh, it's like 80 degrees out. Travis just got done mowing the lawn. Um, he's doing some other like lawn care things today. I don't really know what he's doing. We'll find out. Um, we're gonna grill later. We went to the dog park earlier. Uh, we'll probably plant some stuff. We're just having a great, lovely first day of summer. Um, so if you guys are doing any kind of fun summertime activities, please share because we would love to know what you're getting up to um, on this lovely summer day. All right, this is interview with my dog on the first day of summer. Atlas Rayleigh Robart, what would you like to do with your first day of summer? Would you like to go outside? Would you like a treat? Okay, can you go to your spot? Yes, good boy. Let's get you a treat. You cute boy. Travis got this jerky at a gas station coming back from a work trip this week. It's literally like, like it crunches. It's bad jerky, but it is fantastic doggy treats, Atlas. Sit. Atlas. <laughs> I didn't even say it, you goon. Lay down. <laughs> Good roll over. Stay. Atlas, come. Atlas, spin. Atlas, sit. <laughs> Atlas, lay down. Atlas, catch. <laughs> Good boy. That's all I got. That's all I got. Put some filler in this, but um, this spot up here is, this gets sun for most of the day. So this never grew last year. I'm gonna try to get it started good this year. And then, uh, so for the HOA, this is the spot right in front of the house here. May 1st, I have put soil amendments and seed in here. This is where I think we had the biggest issue last year. So we just gotta keep watering it. Hopefully it comes back. This is the Atlas spot where he's been going all winter. Uh-oh, we're being watched. You know we have a hose for that. Do you remember how we did kale last year and we got like two leaves of kale like this big? Yeah. And that was our kale haul. <laughs> also, do you remember how we tried growing cilantro and got also two leaves of cilantro that were like this big. Yeah. All right, so we're gonna try some cherry tomatoes in a pot, right? We're doing all this in a pot. So we're gonna do cherry tomatoes in a pot, basil in a pot, and we dried some, I'm scared these are gonna fall out. I do have it upside down. We dried some poblano seeds as well. So this is our usual uh, seed starting process. And by our, I mean Travis's. Um, and he taught me how to do it. So you take a paper towel, you write the name of the thingy at the top. Oops. Basil. 
then I'm gonna get it wet. Take some baby basil. How many seeds do we want? Probably like 10. Ten. Let's like really get it going. Yeah, let's really get it going. Sometimes we forget to supervise these once we get them started and then they all die. <laughs> so yeah. maybe that will happen too. So we like to grow our own basil because I like it on pizza um, with some cherry tomatoes and feta cheese because everything is better with feta cheese. And there's just something about fresh basil. The big seeds. I don't know if these will actually do anything. I've never uh, tried. This is our first time trying to dry them. Hey, what are you doing? That's an antique. <laughs> All right, that's that. There's our garden for the summer. Yep. <laughs> We're going small this year. We got kind of discouraged last year. Uh, nothing grew except for the jalapenos. So, and the beets. And the beets. Um, so we're just gonna go with this and see what happens. Did we get any other snacks when we were at the store? <laughs> Travis's mom got us this bromeliad as a gift when she was out visiting. So we are transplanting it to its new home because its current home is teeny. Oh. This is very dry, so. <coughs> this whole thing jiggling makes me nervous. Looks like it's just gonna like fall out of this pot. Atlas is helping. Got some roots on there. I think it looks nice in there. Dun da 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 da! Yeah, that's pretty sturdy. Looking good. Yay! Plant. Yeah, looks good in that pot too. Yeah, it does. I think so. So Travis got some new boots today. Yeah, so my old ones are falling apart. Literally falling apart. Look at that. I mean this said. Look at that. Waterproof, steel toes. I feel like a model. <laughs> you should be the model. Rugged boots. boots. Man boots. Yeah, so his other ones he's had for six years or something. So I bought them to because you needed an over the ankle boot to take the motorcycle safety course. I'm missing the padding. I think a dog ate this, one of the dogs. So I've been wearing them anyways. They This weekend or last week in Texas, they finally ripped here on both boots. So it was uncomfortable. Um, and they're stinky. Yeah. Not only did I learn how to ride, I also fell on my motorcycle and because I had steel toes, I think I probably prevented breaking a toe because it just scraped off a bunch of the leather there. Good old trusty boots, but it's time to say goodbye. Yeah. So we're doing a formal send off. These might be new laces though, so give me a second. <laughs> <laughs> Save those for backup. So we're doing like a Viking funeral here? Light them on fire and send them <laughs> down the river? No, oh. there's probably a fire ban in Colorado like always. True. No, we'll just, I don't know, I think the only song I know is Taps, which is like your morning song. Yeah, go for it. it. <laughs> Grow some salmon. Yeah! We made it through the first day of summer. Got our mojitos in hand. Gonna relax. 
Oh wait, I screwed it up. Cheers. You got it. Rushed. How was it? Good. Good. Yum! That's some good salmon. Guys, I also got my first sunburn today. Look at that! Oh, it really is summer.